Hi everyone, this is Emily Bowen Moore. Uh, this is the second video on how to upload your JPEG images or screens to Envision to create your high fidelity prototype. Uh, this is for the UI UX or the second part of the magazine project for Journalism 273 um, here at the MOOC School of Journalism and New Media. <clears throat> and we have saved our screens here to our desktop in the previous video there. And now I'm in Envision, um, so I've gone to envisionapp.com. All your editing and everything is here done on the computer. Um, you can also download their free mobile app to do presentation or to test your prototype on your phone itself. Um, so I recommend doing that before you submit your final project. Do that several times so that you can edit and refine before your final deadline there. Okay, so um, you, when you have your Envision account, you will only be allowed, I think, one prototype. Now I've gone ahead and gotten, because I have to do this every semester, I you know, have gotten an account here or paid for um, up to three prototypes. So I am going to um, select one here that I've started. I've started one. I haven't put any screens in or anything. Um, I'm naming it the same thing that I'm naming my project, uh, file names. Um, so I've named this prototype uh, more underscore UI UX and I'll show you the process again so you can see how I did that. So when you go to projects or when you get to your home screen you will go to prototypes um, and then you've got your plus sign here and so I'm going to start a new prototype and I'm going to select that and it's going to ask you to name your project name so that's where I was going to do UI UX or more underscore UI UX and we are doing this for the iPhone here. Um, they've even got a new setting for iPhone X here, but we're going to do the iPhone, the regular iPhone here. So we're going to get started there. And once you've done that, now you've got your prototype. And all you have to do to get your screens in here is we are going to click and drag. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag this. It's actually, this is my first screen, which is the phone screen with the, the app icon in place, but I'm going to, once we start dragging and creating screens, it's going to create a specific area for a loading screen. And so um, I'm going to save this for that particular loading screen. So I'm going to just click and drag. So it's just telling me that it will automatically adjust to the retina screen setting that we had in, in design there. And it looks like it's only doing it two at a time, so I'm going to keep going. Oh, okay, it's just taking it a moment. And it may take a few minutes for it to upload all your screens. Um, if you can see, as you can see, they are uploading. And you will be able to create a scrolling screen here. It may not show the whole thing um, on that screen. So I'm just waiting. I think there's one more. If I'm not mistaken, yep. Well, maybe, maybe there's five. Okay, so now I can load. See, as you can see, it's created a loading screen slot here. So I'm going to drag that into the loading screen spot if it will allow me. Or you can click on it and select it. So you can do that as well. That allowed. Okay. So now we have, now I have my six screens up here and 
Here you can edit the names of these. So here I can um, make this instead of more UI UX2, I can put this as my home screen one. This is home screen two. Mom, screen three. So those are three th scrolling screens, and this I'm just going to say this is a feature. And then this is sidebar, technically. Okay. And so now I can have these when they list them for the next destination. When I create my hotspots, I can. Um, create those easily and know what screen is what here. Okay, so now what I would like to do is, now when I click on this screen, it's gonna show my screen literally on an iPhone. And as you can see, if I scroll, it is going to allow me to scroll here as well. So what I can do here is now I'm ready to create my hotspot. My loading screen, um, once I view my, my prototype, once I've got the interactive, the uh, components interactive that I want, um, it will automatically load the loading screen for me. So right now, you're going to be in two modes. You're going to be in build mode and then preview mode. And so in our build mode, what I want to do is select somewhere on here for there to be hotspots. Um, so I'm going to make the image a hotspot, resources, or, or actually I'm going to make the image and just the title here the hotspots to the feature. So I've got this scrolling home screen. I'm going to make first the image a hotspot. You can do multiple hotspots per page. So this destination is going to lead. Um, so you've got your screens here. So this is going to lead to my feature. And you can determine the gesture or the transition. Here I'm going to make this um, a tap and I'm going to make, you know, we can either push into the right or push into the left. I'm going to have it push in from the left. Um, and so I'm going to save that. And I'm also going to make the title a hotspot. And I'm going to also select feature again, tap, and I'm going to make that push to the left. And I'm going to save that as a hotspot. And I'm also going to, that's all I need at the moment. Okay. So here, now I can check this and make sure it works. So now when I click that, um, I can go into preview mode and check it and select that and determine that. And so once I go to the feature, I can create hotspots as well. And so what I'm going to do is go back into build mode. Now I would like to be able to lead this back to my home page. So I will select that for a hotspot and go to home screen one. And I'm going to make that instant. Um, and there was a word down here, this little story word here. I was going to make that a hot spot, and that's going to my sidebar. So I'm going to select the sidebar, and I'm going to have it push from the right. And I'll save that. So now I can check and make sure. So now I can go back to the home page. 
And then I can also scroll down and click story and go to the sidebar from there. Okay, so that's really all you have to do to create your prototype. So if I go back out here to my actual prototype and I click on that screen, actually I'm going to click on the home page screen. And it should show this first and then go to the home screen automatically. Um, so when you are really wanting to test the whole interactivity, um, go to your first home screen. And then it will show your other your loading screen just for a moment and then automatically go to your home screen and then you can go from there. So again, I've got these things. So you can also make you know other things linkable. You know, if you have certain pages or if you have captions for your photos, you can make the photo a hotspot and then show the screen with the caption next. Um, so that's how you will work in Vision to create your prototype. Now once your prototype is finished you can go back. Um, so it's ready to test at this point. You've got it saved so when you have your mobile app on your phone you will be able to access it and test it out. Now if somebody is testing your prototype and say they click on something else that is not interactive, it's going to flash blue where your hotspots are. So they will be able to see and correct themselves on where to click on what is interactive in this particular test. Um, so always uh, know that you don't have to sit there and explain to them, no, that's not what you click. Um, if, if I click on the wrong thing, then it's going to tell me, oh, this is the clickable item. So then I can click on it and see what happens next. Okay, so let me go back out here. Once you've got everything done and you've got everything edited, you've tested it out multiple times, you've edited, you've retested, um, then all you have to do is by the final deadline, you've got your package you know, submitted work in box, but you will also be emailing me a link to this prototype so I can test it as well. So what uh, I would like for you to do in terms of going about that is you'll go to share and you can go to down here on the link settings it will give you the private URL to share here, um, so you can copy that. And make sure you don't have password protect, um, and you know you have this selected in terms of allowing uh, me to comment on the screens or allowing screens and you know all your screens in the prototype. So, uh, but don't select password protect because that's going to make it. Um, restricted for me to view and if it's restricted for me to view that'll be a deduction in your grade and a um, pretty big one because that's your prototype. Um, so make sure that you have these settings um, established. So when you copy the link you can just create an email 